I can come back to my map and start exploring what data um, Digital Earth Africa has available. So there's a big explore map data button here and everything's nicely cataloged. So I'm gonna look in satellite images. I wanna look at surface reflectance. So that's what our uh, Earth looks like. And again, this is analysis ready data. So it's gonna be straight uh, ready for us to work with. So I wanna have a look at sort of changes on the order of months. So I'm gonna go for the daily surface reflectance data rather than looking at the annual. I'm also gonna add, um, I'm gonna look at Sentinel-2 specifically because it's got that higher resolution and sort of a, a faster revisit time. So when I click that product um, in the DE Africa Maps interface, I get this really good um, sort of detailed information about the product. This is really worth reading if you're not familiar with these products. You can directly add that data to the map. Um, and there's another good feature that will let you uh, specifically filter by location because Sentinel-2 specifically passes over uh, different parts of Africa each day. You won't always see satellite imagery um, in the location that you're looking at every day. However, if I change it to uh, filter by location, see uh, the real imagery that was captured on these days. So that can be a really nice heads up of, you know, are you looking at the data you actually want to analyze? So for me, I'm pretty happy with this.